Hello ladies and gentlemen. On today's video, I'm going to be working on this television. Um, I think there's a problem with the power supply because I'm going to plug it in right now. As you see, when I do plug it in, let me help. Damn it. There we go. So, TV is plugged in. As you see, it turns on. And then it shuts off after like five seconds. And I don't see no standby light. So I'm thinking there's something wrong with the power supply. So I'm going to open this up and see what's the problem. So basically, this is all to the TV. Um, I unscrew these, these screws, but the whole LCD lifts up with it. So this is the power supply side and the main board side. But as I was looking, check this out. Look at this ground screw very loose very loose this one is the only one that's tight but this is not a ground screw basically look another one that's loose another different ground screw so I'm thinking that's, that the reason why it turns on and powers off is because there's no ground so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all those all those screws and put a ground screw I mean put ground screws and see if that was just the problem with this TV so there goes the six ground screws just in case you want to know how a ground screw looks like, this is how it looks like. So, before I even turn it on, I was looking at this part where they read that the wires, and I see a negative side and a positive side. So when I was tracing the wires, let me show you. As I was tracing the wires, you can see right here. Hold on, let me put it together so you can see better. So I was, as, as I was tracing the wires, the negative side is actually put on the positive side. I'm going to show you right now. Look, there's a positive side. Look at the wire right here. All right, let me hold a positive lead. So here we go. So this wire would be this one right here. You see it? This one right here. So the positive is actually on the negative side. So I'm going to switch the wires around and hopefully that's just the problem with this TV. Okay, so I'm still having trouble with the TV. I'm thinking I have to get inside the actually, I mean actually inside the LCD. I already took off the case. I'm going to flip the TV around. Excuse me, I'm doing this on my bed. So what I do is, I gotta start removing all these screws. Once I remove all these screws, I'm gonna be able to get inside the panel. So, an example, because I'm trying to, I'm trying to get to the back light to see if there's any LEDs that are shortened, and that's the reason why it doesn't turn on. So the first thing I want to do is go on this corner right here. Once you're in that corner, you get towards the middle. As you see, I'm sliding my hands. Then you lift out the panel. And there you go. You got and a quick glimpse. When you're trying to remove this board, there's little clips holding it. So just don't force it out. Like an example, as you see, I'm doing right here. You see, I'm lifting it. So I take off the clip on this end. I take off the clip on this end. You want to go little by little because there are some ribbons cables right here that if you put too much pressure it can rip it right out the TV you don't want to do that so be careful with that so I remove these two plastic goes in the corner right here I remove that to actually get to the LED light so got the panel there this is the cover for the back and now we got this little, gotta be careful because this is actually a film, I think. Actually, no, it's another plastic cover. There we go. And turn around. So let's put that over here. I'm bleeding. This Inside. gotta be a joke. I took off the panel. Let me just show you how it goes back on. Place it on, nice and gentle. Sorry, I'm doing this with one hand. When you're in, 
see it goes on just like that so i took it off there's actually the, the plastic white cover probably a black there so when i look into the leds i have a priority mail from the usps tape on the led these are led lights this is the actually the back lights i turn on this panel and um I'm just gonna take off one of these tapes let's see to see if okay so i went online and um this led it's not the original one for this tv i have to figure out which one is the positive and the negative lee because i believe whoever did this tv being that i i see this priority mail tape inside that's already telling me that it was shipped to him or her and um they just decided to put the wires anywhere so I'm hoping that I'm able to recover this LED because I do get a picture on the TV, but it just turns off after four blinks. And I'm thinking it's a false due to these two wires being connected in the same line or it's touching probably, it's probably connected to the positive side, but it's also connecting to the negative side and it shuts the TV down. So, or the positive or negative or negative positive, I'm not sure, I gotta check. So I'm gonna do a little bit more. Um, Web searching to see if um which side is the positive and negative on these LEDs, and then from there I'm gonna resolder them, and hopefully that's just the problem to this um backlight for this TV. So I have the LED out. It's actually let me see. It's actually a Samsung. That's actually the model number right there. All right. So um, you can't really see it, but I put it under a microscope. And I actually have it broken apart. You can actually see the little white line right there. Sorry that it's moving so much. I'm holding it by the other end. Um, so now, I'm still trying to look online. Where's my positive and negative? Um, I took off the bridge I have, basically. And these two ends, they were connecting. Those two ends right there, they were connecting. And then right here at this side, he used it as the negative lead to make it connect. I resold everything back together, so you can see, you can actually see the gap in between, you can actually see it, it's not touching now, I used a little bit of solder, I wasn't trying to burn the LCD, I mean the LED, connecting, collectors, I mean connections, so I'm going to put tape on it and check it out now. Okay, so, um, the these LEDs, they shorted out, actually went into smoke. Um, I'm pretty sure they had a problem already to it. Doesn't matter. I actually have two LEDs. They're not the same. So when it comes to this cover, because this is the only cover I'm going to have. When it comes to this cover right here, I'm going to have to figure out a way how to make the LEDs show right here. So what I'm going to have to do is, Probably just cut this whole line off, put both of the LEDs like that together, and that should give me somewhat of a fix when it comes to these LEDs because these LEDs were pulled out from a a broken screen, a TV that had a broken screen, and as you see, the joints haven't been messed with, and the backlight used. Well, I mean, when the TV was working, it was working perfectly fine. So. So I don't have to waste a dime. I'm going to see if this works or not. If I don't get to fix it, then... Oh, well, I try. I had to get myself credit. So I'll be right back. So an example of what I was talking about. This is actually where the other panel was <clears throat> was at. So I could just put it just like that. Like it was just one big strip. And like I said, with this paper... What I'll do is... This. What I'll do is... I'll just cut a little bit more. I'm going to measure it. Just cut out those lines, and I sh it should be just as good. Because I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna take off too much. Because this paper is very, very important for the reflection. So I'll be right back. Voila. So what I used was my best friend, Mr. Razor Blade, or I should say Mrs. Razor Blade, because everything to me is a she. This is actually the piece I took off. If I ever want to reuse it, all I got to do is just lay it back down, put a little bit of clear tape on it, 
and I should be good to go. So, first thing I'm gonna do is, once I already got the layout, is um cut the wires for my LED. Put some extra wires on it so it can come out to here, to the side of the board. And then I'm gonna put the panel together and everything, and let's see if that was just the problem. As you see, I added the connections. This time I marked it in both ends with a marker so I can know which one was negative or positive or positive or negative. I just took one side. So I'm gonna do is wherever I see black at, I do have the same um, reflector paper or plastic paper from the other board. I'm in for another TV. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut little pieces. So here, as you see, I topped all the black tape. I'm actually gonna put a little bit more on this side because I don't want that red to show. And after that, I'm gonna put everything together. Hopefully that's just the problem. So there it is, it's nice and neat in. I'm actually using the other panel because of the blood that I had earlier and left the stain. So I'm using these, I mean, not panels, I'm sorry. The reflector and the other plastic, which I don't know the name real good of. Okay, so the next thing you wanna do is, you wanna put these plastic covers on it. And to start that off, you have to first look at this little hole right here. You see it? So this is actually the side that goes here. So first thing you wanna do is tuck it in like that. Once you have it tucked in like that, Keep bringing it up, and then over here on this side, you know, see like a little gap right there. So you want to like bend it a little bit, slide it in. Okay. <clears throat> Bring this up a little bit. Okay. Let me see. So basically. That's how you start it off. And I'm gonna show you the rest. So I got the cover on. So what's gonna go next? It's the panel. After I put the panel inside, then I put the cover and I'll tie it up with the screws. So I put the LCD back in. There's actually 10 screws in total. I put two small ones I actually go here, hopefully. That's how I remember it. It's nice and flat. So now the next thing I need to do is tuck this in. And then from there, put in the metal brackets. And then let's see if it turns on. And if it doesn't, then the hell with it. So I have the TV all assembled. Um, remember, the TV was shutting on and off. I mean, it was shutting off and on after like five seconds to eight. Um, I'm hoping after I change the LED in the back that there's nothing wrong with the board. And um, the TV is actually fixed, so let's see. Moment of truth if I was able to get this TV to work. So here we go, plugged it in. See the LED lights turn on? Perfect. It's a little brighter on one side, but it's okay. So let's see. Let me count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Wow, it keeps going. Okay. Well, let's see if... The screen is actually working. So I'm going to flip this over like this. Oh, Houston. We got picture. Awesome. Now, let's turn it off. Let's turn it back on. Let's see. There we go. Now it's turning on. Boom. There we go. So another one buys the dust. <sighs> Excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm a little excited. Here's the display. This is actually one of my videos on my channel. And thank you for watching.